Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Let's Play of The Rise of the Ronin. Hopefully, you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, we are going to start making our way to Yokohama, or Yokohama. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. I apologize. Probably butchering it. So, now that that's all been said, let's go ahead and get started. Materials, you obtained a material, use materials at whatever that is. Oh, apothecaries to, to craft remedies, stones, and other... Stat and statuses, altering items. Blacksmiths are where you can upgrade equipment and transfer special effects from one piece of equipment to another. Materials can be harvested from plants and materials or obtained from dis uh, dismantled. Oh my goodness, forget it. Deassembled equipment. God, words. Words, words, words. Red nuts. Is there anything back here worth grabbing? I'll try not to loot too much. I'll try to keep that to off screen. So I'll try to loot more when I'm not recording. But I am, if I see it in front of me, I'm going to loot it. Very pretty. <sighs> Oops. That's I was like, man, why am hey, I you there? I was wondering why I was throwing a shuriken instead of pulling out my uh rifle. You're a traveler, I take it. If I were you, I'd avoid the village beyond here. Bandits have moved in and made it their den. I came all this way to peddle my wares, but it's left me in a bind. The checkpoint's just up the road, too. How on earth did they let this happen? If you're determined to go, then take this with you. It should serve to distract the bandits, at least. Earthware Ball. Oh, okay. Cool. So let's equip those in our, is it, how do I equip it? Ah, items. Wool. Okay. L3 inventory. Okay, so that's how we get to the map pretty quickly. Okay, I'm liking this. I'm liking this. Looks like it's open world, but kind of linear because there's like a set path. I, I like that setup. Put those on.
defeating all the troublemakers in an unruly area will strengthen your bond with that area, allowing its inhabitants to move freely and earning you special rewards. You cannot use Veiled Edge banners around until public order of the area has been restored. All right, cool. Can I talk to you? It seems like you can see the bandits on the map. Medicine pill. That scared me. <laughs> the barrels scared me. Probably some of these buildings will open up as... Um... Uh, you know what? Let's shoot one. As uh, we bring back the public order. Oh, come on. There we go. Yeah, they look locked up, but maybe they'll uh, open up once we help the town out. Ooh. Let's get you... First, Ooh, Udachi. We don't need the Udachi, but if we did see a little bit of stuttering in the game the frames are not as good maybe that'll be patched horse flute I've obtained a chestnut horse and this is a single blade I kind of figured it was so we're not gonna go with that I want dual blades I like that. The earthenware ball I gave you was useful, I trust. I've got other things in stock too, so do have a browse. Do have a browse. What will it be? Let's sell this. Is there anything so else? Dachi. Is there anything else? Ooh. Um. With pleasure. Probably could put those on. They're level three. Oh, I wasn't be? done looking. 
Yeah, I'm not gonna mess with any of that stuff. Buy what will sundries. it be? No. Craft. Okay. Just cost some iron. Doesn't cost any coin. Buybacks. I like that. Please come I like again. I like when you can buy back stuff. Oh, what's this? Oop. Okay, just some silver coins. Begging your pardon, but could you lend me a hand? Sure. You? This village needs to resume trading if it's to flourish again. But our stores have been near pit clean while we've been in hiding. Could I ask you to bring me ingredients to make medicine? Otherwise, I'm stuck. Uh, sure, I can do that. Really? Oh, thank you. I require a red flower for the medicine. Please search the hills nearby and bring me one. Uh, revealing area information. Strengthen an area bond to increase its bond level and reveal hidden information for that area on your map. Cool. Gather all the collect collectibles in a given area and you will be rewarded with a completion reward. Cool. Auto run. The auto run ability is now available. This will allow you to automatically travel to destinations of your choosing. Um, okay, so fast travel. Public order. We can probably go over there and help that out too. Yes, find the medicine. Cat. There's a cat. it up here like the climbing animations let's pet it huh oh Aww, pretty kitty entry unlocked cats what is with cats Ah, there we go. <laughs> An animal that meows. Of course. <laughs> you don't say. Is that what they do? Can't collect those. Definitely a big world so far. Bad. Thank you. I'll be happy to give you a generous discount. What will it be? 
Please, come again. Got some more red nuts. Can I light these? No? That's a shame. Maybe they just light up at night or something. Okay. Those people are definitely not good. At least they don't seem like it. They seem more like bandits. Is that a squirrel? It's a weird looking squirrel. Animal fat. Cool. <laughs> Not bad. Oh. See a guy on the roof up there. Can I climb on this? Yep. Get up here, fool. <laughs> Earned you karma when you've maxed out your karma gauge. Interacting with veiled edge banners or completing missions will convert your karma, earning you the skill points required to learn new special skills. Increasing your karma level will earn you the rare skill points strength dex charm intellect required to learn certain special skills oh got a new pole arm some medicine over here yep Medicinal herb. I wonder if this is somewhere we can go. Yeah, it looks like it. I think we can go in there eventually. The bridge to Yokohama. So this must be Yokohama over here. Kind of figured it would be a bigger village or town. I got only one bullet left. I don't see anything else over here. 
I thought maybe this village would be, you know, like re inhabited and so stuff, but I guess not. Maybe it will once we are able to get through to the other side. Wait, what was that? Oh, just to get up there. I wonder, can I... I know I'm wasting time here. I thought maybe there would be something over there. And then we could have come over here. Huh, there's something over there. Don't know how to get up there. Damn it. I keep wanting to hit L3 to run. I don't know why. I've been playing a lot of Dragon's Dogma 1 lately. So maybe that's why. There we go. Come over here. Let's put on some new equipment. Set bonuses. Um, twenty nine Eagle Eyed Archer. Hmm. This is what I want experience. Traveler's garb. Cool, cool. I don't know what happened to those other guys. They were patrolling over here somewhere. Oh. Ugh. That did not work out the way that I wanted it to. Oh, that, I thought that bunny was going to mess me up. I thought I was uh, a little bit further away. Getting a little better at the uh, parry system. It'll definitely take me some time to get used to that. And that goes with any game. When you're new with it, or new to it. Not new with it. Yes, I'm new with it, everybody. Cool. At least we can run and grab things. Doesn't look like we're running out of stamina while we're running. Can we sheathe our weapons? Okay, R3 is to sheathe it. Bring them out. Okay, so holding R1 and then clicking R3 on or your joystick, clicking that in, uh, will sheathe your weapons. Here's your medicine lady. You brought the ingredients. Thank you so much. Uh, what happens to the leftovers? Deary me, you brought more than enough, didn't you? Just to take the leftovers to other apothecaries like me. They can make something useful to you out of them. I'm sure. Okay, but will this be enough? 
Oh my, this is wonderful. Now I'll be able to make lots of medicine once again. Is there anything you need for your journey? It's best to stock up while you can. Really don't like the voice acting in here, and I don't mean that in a bad way, it just... It sounds off for some reason. I don't know how or why it sounds off, but it sounds off a little bit. Like it doesn't fit. What can I help you with? Oh, okay. She's got quite a bit of medicine. What can I help you with? Um Oh, wow. That's way better. I don't want my inventory getting Is full. Is there anything else? So I'm going to sell some stuff. Is there anything else? Please come again. So our stats we can level up our skills. Okay, cool. So if we hit R2, we can see different skills that might help us. Like this crafting, that must be intellect, charm. That is going to... Oh, okay, okay. Um, I kind of want to do this. I don't think I want that. What? Oh, not enough charm points. Okay. Do have enough charm points there. Let's, I guess, do this first because that looks cool. Hmm. That seems pretty cool. All right, let's do this first. It only cost one, and this only cost one. So our dex went up. We'll work on dex and strength. Ronin bonds, keep an eye on your Ronin bonds in this historic era. Completing missions you're tasked with as a Ronin will increase your Ronin bonds, which will in turn bring you items and increase your influence. Cool. Well, I'm only at level one human bonds. Oh, okay. We can influence people that we've met. Local bonds. Okay, that's just the area. Um. Okay, so yeah. Fugitive. Interesting. I guess what we should do... Because this is this area here. We'll go restore the public order over here.
It definitely does a good job at explaining more to you compared to what Neo did. We're going to have to use this pole arm eventually. Check it out and see um, how it is. Um, all recovery. Okay, yeah. We'll just do this. As much as I want the XP, we're going to have to just... Ooh, medicinal pill drop rate? Yes, please. So I don't have to hold circle down, which is nice. As long as I start running, then I'll stay running. Instead of having to hold the button down. I can be obnoxious in some games where you're just constantly holding the button down. You can start hurting your thumbs and stuff like that. So one of five formidable foes. I bet that guy is the formidable foe right in front of us. get there with getting the hang of it eventually it's not now let's heal ourselves where's the other guy at is he down here oh he's right there I guess after I use my um rifle I can't crouch again so that's a little bit like eh. it's hoping to be a little sneakier than that or maybe I'm just not doing it right which is probably more likely cool we got a Ronin hat Now we'll stay with this. Those look really cool. I like those. Oh, those look even cooler. Um, 
we don't really have an ally, do we? I wonder if there's multiplayer in this game. There's multiplayer in Neo, but that doesn't mean that it's going to be, um, that there's going to be multiplayer on here, you know? So I'm not expecting it to have multiplayer just because Neo did. That'd be a little silly. Oh, Neo had multiplayer, so this should have multiplayer. So I guess I could call a horse if I wanted to. Can I grab stuff on the horse? I can. Cool. What is this? New location. I want to explore everything, so we're going to place a marker over here. New combat style available, but only at level six, it looks like. British training novice. More red nuts. Being very childish with calling that out. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. Dismount with L3. That's just a big log. Can I jump off? Oh, I can. Cool. Landmark visited. Oh, shit. Okay. All right. You hurt, sir. Don't kill me! Fool. Oh shit, I am out of healing. Fugitives from the law of the shogunate can be found throughout the land. You can review fugitive locations in the menu, defeat, defeat fugitives to receive rewards from government officials. Serving the peace in this way will strengthen your bonds with this area and unlock their facilities and missions. Okay. Looks like we got a spear, but we're not using a spear, so... Is that all there is in here? Not very much, huh? Okay. Well, that was pointless. <laughs> Damn. 
retained the retainer's <gasps> headband. What does that do? Sorry, I keep just going into new stuff. Oh, it's locked. Equipment level two. No, it's not locked. Is there anything special over here? Doesn't look like. I wonder, can I kill these chickens? Egg feather. Okay. I didn't kill it, but I did collect some stuff from it. Mounts. Go to the map. Shrine. That's locked. Let's go over there. We gotta see how we're getting over there first. Maybe take uh, this up here, this road, through the Tory gates. These Tory gates kind of seem a little small, but maybe that's how they really are. I don't know, personally. Can I talk to you guys? Oh, sorry. points okay I can slide down looks like there's some boats over there okay so anybody that's been in the channel long enough knows I hate deep water it freaks me out it is Definitely a phobia of mine. So we're going to swim as fast as we can through this water because it freaks me out, which I'm sure we're going to have to do a bunch of water stuff in this game, but I'd rather not. We're still going to do it. <laughs> I just, I don't like to. I'm a baby back bitch when it comes to water. I love the use of multiple ways of climbing up things. Ropes, uh, your um, grappling hook, climbing. They definitely did a good job with that, using multiple ways to traverse uh, the environment. Did I come over here for nothing? Okay, so shrine area info. We're missing a cat. That's probably over here by the shrine or something. I think this is where we came out and then like where we started the game. Seems about right. Maybe we'll go over here, check that out. We have one more fugitive. Fast travel. The load times are pretty good. Definitely enjoy the load times being super fast. Is this the shrine? Or is it down below? Well. 
Oh, I did not want to fall. Oh my god. Wasn't paying attention, everybody. All right, well, <laughs> let's fast travel back up. I have a feeling the shrine is underneath. I said that very weird, but... The shrine is underneath here. You know what? Maybe we got to... Go that way. There's a certain way we got to get to the shrine. It's not like we can just hop off and get to it. Which makes uh, traversing the world a little more fun. You know, instead of like, oh, well, we got it. It's a fetch quest. Another fetch quest. But we'll see if it gets old or not. Yeah, it looks like we got to go down by the beach. Some more red nuts. What's this? Somebody in trouble again? Help me! I don't want to die! Seems like we're leveling up our, uh, I forget what it's called, <laughs> our bond. That's what I'm talking about. Retainer's headband. Winter gauntlets. I think this is just a village that used to be here. Not anymore. Yeah, and that's crossing into a different area. I want to get my bond level to three. So we need to... Okay, yeah, we do need to get that shrine. That'll probably help our bond level. So I see the shrine, I think, right over there. We'll try exploring over here first. Seeing this will... Oh, shell. Oh, shit. Okay. Looks like these guys are protecting the shrine. Prepare yourself. Doverman.
would really like to get some better dual swords. Wow, I did not think we were going to actually kill him. Cool. I like that. Very Sekiro like. Well, now how do we get over there? Doesn't look like we have anything to grapple onto. But we definitely need to go that way. Hmm. Interesting. It's already getting late into the video. About a little over 50 minutes in. Let's try shooting it. Nothing. Okay, let's not waste our ammunition like that. Nope. No, I... Oh. Pff. I thought we were going to fall in the water, but I guess not. Did the shells heal me? Interesting. Okay, so that's a no-go there. And looks like the other fugitive is over there, but we can't get to that yet. So let's go up here. And then after we explore that, we will end the video. And off screen, I'll uh, look around to see if I can't get to that shrine or figure out a way to get to it. The horse kind of has some very weird leg animations, I'm not going to lie. Uh, okay. Let's hop off here. Because this looks like bandits, but we'll see. Yep, those are bandits. Definitely bandits. Am I doing something bad? I didn't think I was doing something bad. I mean, those guys were about to attack me, so I was like, uh, maybe I should attack them. <laughs> People are screaming or shrieking, whatever. I thought, I think I just heard a cat, though. Or at least I thought I did. Oh, yes, I did. Huh. 
cool. Found another cat. So that means that we got this area almost complete. We need one more fugitive and we need to figure out a way to that shrine that is right over here. So I will find a way to that shrine um, off screen. And then when we come back, I will show everybody how to get to the shrine. But I am so far enjoying the game. The voice acting is a little, a little bit to be desired. But if I'm going to be honest, Team Ninja has never had, in my opinion, very good um, English voice actors. Their Japanese voice actors are amazing. Always love uh, hearing the Japanese voice acting in the Neo games. It's the way I prefer to play them. Um, but yeah, overall, definitely a good game so far. What I'm going to do, though, is go all the way over to where the riverbank is. Oh, shit. I didn't even notice the dogs. I was going to end at the riverbank. These dogs got in the way. Or wolves. They're not dogs, they're wolves. So we'll end over at this riverbank here. That way, whenever we come back, we can start right over here. Now, there may not be a way to get to this shrine just yet, which is very possible. You know, um, maybe I need some kind of tool or some kind of assistance, something. But off screen, when I'm not recording, I'm going to mess around over here, try to figure that out. If I can't figure it out, then we'll continue on with the story. Come back here when we have. All right. With all that being said, I want to start by telling everybody, thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. It really means so much to me. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night. Whatever time it may be in your part of the world, Mr. John Wayne, signing off.